Well, things change over time. What would have worked for our grandparents, it might not work for us now. Yeah, estate planning included. We are taking a 21st century approach this morning with guidance from our next guest. Attorney Jim Blazik, estate planning law group of Blazik and Greg. Good to see you, Jim. Hi, Thanks welcome for stopping in. in. Very happy to be here. Very no, happy to be here. Glad no, to have good you. To have, yeah, good to have you here. We're going to talk some estate planning. I think a lot of people don't uh, put a lot of emphasis on this until mm -hmm. it, it gets down to it. So what is estate planning? Estate planning is just a set of instructions to leave your property to your loved ones. That's all estate planning is from an attorney's perspective. Yeah, different than a will? Well, a will can be one form of an estate plan, but there's others as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you make it sound so simple, but when you talk <laughs> about sort of buttoning up a life mm -hmm. and deciding what to do with all the bits and pieces, it feels overwhelming in a, in a way, I think. And maybe you see that when people come in. It can be, it can be. In fact, estate planning is an easy area to procrastinate. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's rampant in today's mm -hmm. society. The trouble is, is that old style planning was all about the transfer of property. When I die, that's who gets my property. Mm -hmm. When I die, that's who receives it. The trouble is, is we live in a more complex society today. And so the old style planning begins to fail us. You know, what happens if you're just gonna give property to a loved one and maybe a spouse remarries? Mm -hmm. So when I die, my wife Denise may remarry, Will property go to my family? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. You know, or old style planning may not protect the child's inheritance from a divorce. Uh -huh. So we show our clients how to protect the child's inheritance from a divorce. Those types of protective strategies were just not thought about in old style planning. Well, there's a lot of social changes that the society mm -hmm. has gone through over the years. How many people do you think have uh, satisfactory estate plans in place? <laughs> very, very few. Very, very I like few. The pause. Right. I, know. Yeah. Well, I knew it was. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a great answer. But yeah, most everybody has something in place. Yeah. But the issue is, is what you have in place as effective as it could be or should be given today's opportunities and today's mm -hmm. laws. For example, Mike, there has been a massive law change in 2013 mm -hmm. that really changed the way most married couples should do their planning. Mm -hmm. And yet, how many people updated their plans? after 2013. Well, how many people knew? knew <laughs> you know, there well, was even a law yeah. that something happened or changed. Well, all of our clients knew in 2013. <laughs> we you set, told them, huh? Well, we sent out thousands of letters to our clients mm -hmm. advising them of those law changes and inviting them to update their plan. Mm -hmm. And those plans should have been updated. We, as attorneys, can do plans much better than we ever could before 2013, mm -hmm. especially for married couples. I am relatively healthy, mid-30s, married, no kids. Do I need to be concerned about an estate plan? Oh, certainly, certainly. That's the, that's the like, hard Like, I don't need to wait till I'm older and, Why and not feeling so hot. Well, there's all, con we have a, a whole set of concerns that are always there about estate planning. Mm -hmm. You know, when I die, do I want to save my family expenses? Mm -hmm. yeah. When I die, do I want to protect my property in case my spouse remarries? When I die, do I want to protect my child's inheritance from a divorce? When I die, do I want to, do I want to make sure that when my child passes away, the inheritance that I left them goes to their children? You know, we have a whole set of concerns we care about no matter what age we are. The challenge we have is that people's goals change over time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. in your 30s, yeah. you know, the normal reaction is, I'm too young to plan. Uh -huh. I'm too young mm -hmm. to plan. Then we get a little older and we think, you know, who's going to receive our property at time of death? And yeah. we get a little older yet and we think, jeepers, you know, we've seen property leave families because of a remarriage, because of a child's divorce. And we start to think, how do we protect our mm -hmm. property? Then we get to another season of life and we may be thinking, how do I make sure a nursing home doesn't get my property? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes so sense. So our goals change over time, and your plans have to keep up. Yeah, Jim, Blazer and Greg, you guys are attorneys. It's we a are law attorneys. firm, right? We're a law firm, yes. um, But you specialize in estate planning. Describe the firm and, and, and what, makes, what sets you apart from other firms out there. Well, first of all, all we do is estate planning. So we're not regular attorneys in the sense that we go to divorce mm -hmm. court or criminal court or bankruptcy court. All we do is estate planning, and that can take the form of will-based planning mm -hmm. or nursing home planning or revocable trust planning. But all we do is planning. We help people establish their plans and maintain them over their life and then administer plans at time of death. Mm -hmm. Experience matters. With He's, a lot of things in life, this included, I'd say. How long have you been doing it? Over 35 years. Mm -hmm. We've done thousands of plans, and thankfully, Everything we've ever, ever put our fingerprints on has worked the way that it was intended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim, you are probably waking some people up out there right now saying, well, I, I got to get on top of this. Mm -hmm. What is the process to go through and get your estate plan ironed out? Well, call our office and set up a free consultation to talk about your planning goals to see what type of plan is appropriate for you. Mm -hmm. That's what good planning is. You'll come to the office. 
You might invest an hour, an hour and a half of discussing your particular goals. Mm -hmm. We can recommend a plan that would be appropriate for you. And then typically we're, we're ready to review that plan in maybe two to three weeks. And, and there are several workshops that are coming up that if this, you know, as Mike said, you're sort of waking up a little bit to the issue and you want to just go to a casual setting um, with some other, some of your neighbors and friends and get some more information. These estate planning workshops are a really great way to do it. And we've got three dates, but then two workshops each day. Correct. So the first is on Tuesday, March 21st, and you see the times and locations there. And then the next set of workshops is the following day. You've got a busy week. <laughs> that week. Does, Wednesday, yeah. March 22nd, and you see those locations. And then finally on that Thursday, um, two more. Should our viewers RSVP to those or can they just drop in? Well, it's best to RSVP. Mm -hmm. uh, we normally have room. Simply call the office and yeah. Angela will make your reservation. We have two, two attorneys in the law firm, myself mm -hmm. and Jared Gregg. Jared Gregg is a wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful man and a great attorney and he'll be giving some of the workshops and mm -hmm. I'll be giving some of the workshops so yeah well great information and, and those workshops one of the reasons why we want to get you on the show today and talk mm -hmm. about that because it's it's a less structured environment that people can come in and feel comfortable and come with mm -hmm. friends and family and check out some of the workshops so Tuesday March 21st um, so yeah you do have a busy week you have a busy <laughs> just week don't let it hold you back because I, I love talking about this stuff on live TV because <laughs> some people maybe it's too uncomfortable for you to discuss it you know with your your kids or with your parents um, when you're sitting around having coffee at the kitchen table, this makes it a little bit easier for everybody because once you get that information, then it gives you some peace of mind. So the number there, in case you would like to attend one of those, an RSVP, it's 402-496-3432. Yeah, and if you can't get to one of those workshops, if you looked at the dates, just, mm -hmm. uh, just shoot them an email, give them a call. Blazik at Greg.com is a website. Thank you. Jim, good to see you. Thanks Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well,